Hey guys, Christina here. I wanted to show you guys some pineapple quicksicles today. Some of you don't even know what a quicksicle is. I'm gonna tell you. It is an amazing uh, thing that comes out of the newest Pamper Chef product. So I don't know, I've made um, some avocado fudge pops. I've made um, lemonade ice pops. I've made, what else? Um, wine sickles. I mean, yes, those are probably my favorite. Um, but I thought I would show you guys how to use the quick sickle today and then show you one of my new favorite recipes that I just kind of threw together. Sound good? <sighs> I'm having a little trouble breathing today. The weather is just crazy town. Um, and then add in the pollen now and I mean mother nature is really at its finest right now but anyway uh, these two right here I wanted to show you a couple before I made one so I'm going to make one real quick and then I'll pull these out but these have been sitting in here for almost eight minutes okay so this is the brand new Pamper Jeff quick sickle maker some of you may have called uh, heard me call it a wine sickle maker because you can pour just Moscato in here and it freezes. Obviously, the higher the alcohol content, the less likely it'll freeze, but I've tried all different types of Moscato, Chardonnay, things like that. Definitely, you want sweeter rather than like a Pinot or something. I like sweet wine. So um, yeah, those are fun. But I just did pineapple today. So what I did was I took our paper chef pineapple wedger see that guy right there mm -hmm. so this is a pineapple wedger comes with a little um, cover on the bottom and what you do is you take your pineapple and I I've, I've got a million videos on this so go to my YouTube account Maniscalco kitchen and uh, you could see how to cut your pineapple <laughs> Stacia you need one girl okay so pineapple you cut the top and the bottom off so then you're left with just you know the meat of the pineapple and then you simply take your pineapple wedger and you rock it down the pineapple just like that you don't want to go straight down it will never work <laughs> so you just rock it right down hey Jill um, and then what you're left with is this right here so this is my half a pineapple so you're left with the you know the meat of the pineapple plus the core, so it cuts it in half, it cores it, and it peels it. So what I did was I actually take the, like there's, sometimes if you get a really big pineapple, there's some meat left over on the skin. You could grill that if you want to, or if you don't have time. I just take like a boning knife. Those of you don't, that don't know what a boning knife is, it's just a really thin knife that's flexible. So I just boned, um, <laughs> I boned it. Oh my gosh, you know, just forget that whole thing. Don't, don't stop laughing at me. I know there's a delay. Um, so take your boning knife and take the meat right off of the uh, skin, okay? So I actually um, took half of the pineapple, chopped it up in the manual food processor. Yes, everybody's laughing now, ha ha. So funny, you guys are hilarious. Okay, so I put half the pineapple in here. Oh my gosh, you never know where these videos are gonna go, do you? You just never know. Okay, so I took the manual food processor. I just washed it all, so. Um, I took the manual food processor, I put half the pineapple in there, that leftover meat from the sides, and I threw it all in here, I processed it. I added some toasted coconut. Yeah, because I love coconut. You don't have to put the coconut in there, but I love coconut. And then I also put in there, let me show you, some lime juice that I already have frozen. So, like, remember I told you guys, take your whole bag of limes, squeeze it all at once, freeze it into ice cubes. I actually used our, the herb freezing trays. These are Pampered Chef. And they're awesome because they just pop right out. These are silicone. So I make a bunch of ice cubes because like last night I made shrimp scampi. 
So I had lemon, lemon juice. Um, so I have a bag of lime and I have a bag of lemon. So I took three of these. So that's about three, almost four tablespoons. And I just stuck it in a prep bowl, put it in the microwave and just melted it. So I had some juice. So I added the juice, just three ingredients. So I had the pineapple, the lime juice, and I added toasted, toasted coconut, because I love me some coconut. And this, I put it in the manual food processor. I processed it all up. This is great for salsa, guacamole. Um, you can use it for smoothies or, um, mm -hmm. what are those things you can get? The kernel cutter, ooh, that's a good one too, Sandy. Um, you can use the, um, yep blizzards. If you ever go to Dairy Queen and get a blizzard, you can make your own blizzards. So take whatever you like in your blizzard, put it in here, chop it up, add three scoops of ice cream, and you have a blizzard. It's amazing. Um, also, I love this for salad dressing or even chicken salad, egg salad, um, anything like that. You need to um, chop, mix, and combine all at the same time. Use your manual food processor. Okay. So what you're left with is this mixture right here. So you can keep pumping, it'll get a little bit finer, but this is fine for me. So what I do is normally you put this little stick right in here first, but um, my mixture is a little bit thicker than like, let's just say chocolate milk. So I'm just gonna put some of this in here and then I'm just gonna make sure it doesn't overflow when I stick the little paddle in there. So I have a little bit more room. So I'm just gonna put some more in there. And I'm gonna show you these two because they're ready to come out. So perfect. So what you wanna do is just fill it right up to that fill line. Do you see that? Okay. So these two are ready to eat. So what happens is this just stays in here for eight minutes. That's it. That's all it takes. You don't have to put this back in the freezer. You could if you want to, but this is already frozen because it's been in the freezer for 24 hours. You could put it back in the freezer if you want to, and it'll just spread up. Uh, speed up the process. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little thing right here. This is called the key. <laughs> the key to my heart. Oh. Hi, friends. So we're gonna t put this on here, and this is how you get them out, okay? So I've had a couple customers, they were missing their key. So if you get a quick circle maker and you don't have a key, call me and I'll get you one. Okay, but don't worry, there's only a couple, and I've sold a million of these already. Not a million, because I'd be a millionaire if I did but I sold a few. <laughs> okay, so you turn this until you feel it release, and then you turn it the other way, and I'll show you this one too. So put this on here, turn it clockwise, and you're gonna hear it either pop or release. That's why it's really important not to overflow these, okay? Okay. Here we go. There. Did you feel it? Hear it pop? I did. Okay. So, are you ready? So these are just gonna pop right out. And you have yourself pineapple, lime, coconut, ice pop. Mmm. Mmm. So good. They're healthy. I didn't add anything to it. Um. They're amazing. I mean. I'm just saying, I did share a recipe over on my VIP group. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how I store these too. But I shared, I just shared a recipe over in my VIP group. And um, that was for, they added like um, heavy whipping cream and they made like, you know that Dole pineapple whip? Mm -hmm. They made that. But you can totally um, add almond milk or coconut milk to this if you want that like, creamy type of, but I'm like weird. I just like fruit. Ollie, you have to shush. Everybody can hear you. The dogs are crazy. So I don't really like like the whipping stuff. I don't want to add any extra calories. Um, mm, so good. Do you guys do that? So good. Okay, hold on, let me put this guy down. So see, they just pop right out. Isn't that cool? So the way that I store them, so for Easter, we had a bunch of friends, or we had a bunch of um, of my family over. And um, I told them, I made the mistake uh, by telling them that I had 
some pineapple, coconut, um, ice pops in the freezer, and they ate them all. So it was um, pineapple juice and coconut milk <clears throat> out of a can, and uh, they, those were good. But what I do is I just store them in freezer Ziploc bags, and they just, I'm totally going to eat all these, so don't even judge me. But um, you can just put like, I actually fit like five or six of them in one Ziploc freezer bag. And they store perfectly. So if you get the Quick Sickle Maker, it comes with six of these guys. I'm just going to throw this in the freezer for just a second because I'm going to do these other ones. It comes with six of the paddles. So you definitely want to get the accessory kit and get more paddles. Because I'm going to tell you what you're gonna want more than six ice pops, okay? So what you can do is actually make three sets of these in a row before you have to really refreeze it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make all of these. So I have a bunch in there. So um, yeah, who doesn't love a fresh, fruity ice pop that you made, you know exactly what's in there, the ingredients and everything. So you can think of all of the possibilities, my friends. Oh my goodness. You could make strawberry kiwi ones. You could make, um, you wanna make sure you do not overfill it, okay? If you do, you're gonna be mad because it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get out. You have to not overfill it, okay? That's the secret. All right, there we go. That's good. Need some more juice with this one. All right, hold on. There we go. Don't overfill them. Um, you can do so much stuff with this, you guys. I've been doing like Greek yogurt. So then just stick it in there. Make sure it's not over full, overflowing. Add this stuff over here. So this one's a little messy because it's like fresh fruit and I didn't like pulverize it. Yeah, fresh pineapple is my jam. Mm -hmm. It sure is. So um, thank you, those of you that were praying for my mom. She had uh, a, a very successful knee replacement surgery. I'm going to go up there and see her in just a few minutes because it's pure entertainment when she is high on drugs. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> she had a knee replacement last year, her other knee, obviously. And, uh, I mean, it was funny. Funny stuff. We don't call her Lulu for nothing. Um, so I'm gonna go see her after I make all these pops and stick them in the freezer. So I hope you guys get yourself a Quicksicle Maker. They're only 22 bucks this month when you host a party. So hello, hit me up. I will set up a virtual party for you when you get to $200 in sales. You can get your own Quicksicle Maker for $22. Mm -hmm. True story. Uh, so. Message me, let me know you want one, and we'll set you up. Or maybe you want a new piece of cookware, rock crock, whatever you want. 60% off any item or set this month. Michelle just messaged me last night because she wants new pots and pans. So 60% off for you, Michelle. I'm sending out your host packet for host box today. All right, so, um, excuse me. There's always three ways to get your products. You can join my team, get it for free or discounted in your kit. You can also get it when you host a party. Hey, Kim. Kim just hosted a party. Hello, Kim. Didn't you get tons of free stuff, half-priced items and discounts? Yes. And she's going to get a half-priced item at every party that booked off of her, too. If my dog don't shut up, Ali, shush. I'll pulverize him and stick him in the quick school maker. I'm just joking. I would never do that. Do not call PETA on me, okay? Uh, the third way to get your products is to go to my website, pambirdchef.biz forward slash Maniscalco Kitchen. This month, when you spend more than $75, you get a free Majoral cup, okay? I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, for those of you that are on spring break, I'm sorry. It's not spring break, spring break weather. My friend Shannon, I think I saw a picture. She's in New York, and there's snow. Boo. Okay. Have a great week. Uh, don't kill your kids. <laughs> They'll go back to school on Monday. Um, and get yourself a quick school maker. Everybody in your house will be super stoked. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.